Hi, and welcome to another video from S400K177, joined by me, the Deer Hunter. And me, Big Ben. Right, some bad news, but I'm going to move on to that in a sec. Um, got a review today on the Combro Chrono, which I am long ordered. Um, ordered from uh, Henry Crank. Along with, uh, what do you order, Ben? Some CO2 capsules uh, and the new Henry Crank pellets. Well. Yeah, the Henry Crank. Review on those. Yeah, review be um, totally followed soon um, by Big Ben on them. So here we have the uh, Combro Chrono for, um, I believe it's for A rifles. Um, aimed ideally at uh, air rifles. As you can see it's a very small piece. I was pretty uh, surprised at how small in comparison next to my hand. Um, it's a very small unit and um, good thing is it's light and it'll fit in your pocket. So there's the actual unit there and that's the um, mounting for um, barrels and silencers etc. Um, also in the box is some paperwork and um, it's just saying uh, there is a number on the back of your chronoscope written in pencil so for warranty or for model you know um, model number reasons and things like that that's the number that I wrote down and if you turn it around oh well, hello good job I did look then yeah, it's gone. yeah see it's just you can see it's just below so good job. <laughs> yeah good job I wrote that down not like me to keep up with their like and that's the um the instructions so it's a well padded box that it comes in which is good considering it's a small little light plastic unit i suppose it's, it's not bad packaging what do you think of that big, uh, big band yeah it um it obviously saves it from uh, knocking out the chronoscope or yeah, yeah. but um yes it is it's well protected yeah. uh, was you was you shocked as well with the, the size of the unit yeah i thought something was missing I thought <laughs> No, uh, it's, it's well, it, it works brilliant. It's no, it's, so far. It is, and like I said, I'll move on to the bad yeah. news in a sec now. Mm -hmm. Shocking and bad news. So, um, right, yeah, we got the, the uh, manual there. Uh, I was going to say, man, I'm filming, and I can do it a hundred times off and film then, and I can't think and do it right there. Just go. So, you've got the instructions there. Um, the the LCD display, blah 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 blah. How to calculate kinetic energy, the formula. Although I've noticed the formula they've given there is a little bit different to how I do it. But then I I suppose it's just the imperial and metric. metric. Good boy, big man. Corrected. Metric. That's right. So, um, but I think it's there or thereabouts anyway. Whatever way you do it, you know this. Uh, and there we go. Open it up, and then you go. <laughs> like a blueprint for a bomb. You've got a parts list there. Um, you know, all the different um, problems. I mean, if it's reading error, if it's the front sensor, back set, front sensor, back sensor, um, etc, etc. You've got from a 12 mil barrel or bow up to um, a 32 mil. Um, it fits on my eight arm silencer, which is pretty, I'll just hold it there, but I'm just hold it like a, it's, you know, it is a pretty uh, wide, um, unit. Um, it's been interesting to see if the new silencer that I'll be getting on um, on my air arms soon. See Big Ben just modelling in there for me. Um, it's the A&M Custom Gunsmith. I know it's a, a little bit wider than the air arms and a little bit longer so we'll have to see how that gets on. Um, so yeah we got um, the basic, you know, the basic layout of it. I mean, it's not rocket science, you um, mount that correctly and safely to your barrel. Make sure you've got a, a good backstop. So, I've got, I don't even use my shot, uh, target box, it's just a regular cable box. Um, you know, obviously, things that we've ordered come back, and we've got this cardboard, um, yeah, shredded packaging, and um, it works wonders. It really, really does. It works absolutely great. So. Um, yeah, you just, you know, obviously a sensor there is a sensor there. And if I can just hold it up, see if I can get a good, oh, there are, you can see I'm just, see I'm just there, just there. Um, see if I can get a bit of light in it. 
yeah the two blocks you can see on either side and you know obviously they measure the uh, the speed you know the speed the velocity um, it's simple to use from what I've gathered so far um, you put it on with the top button um, if you want to change um, over to um, you know metric or, NMP or imperial that's now on uh, pellet rate so I've got on 10.6 grain because I'm going to be using the crossman's in a sec um, let's press that to go back if you press and hold it again um, for 5 seconds I believe it changes everything over as I said to imperial and metric um, that button's for the velocity so you can see I've, been sh I've shot a 2.2 in your last so it's registering as 508 um, fps which is feet per second and the power was 8.19 PDS, which is short of pounds, uh, 50 pounds of energy. So um, I'm just going to mount it up onto the air arms and then fire a few shots with obviously these Crossman heavies. Now remember, with the heavier pellet, they're going to keep a lot more energy. So these should they say with some heavy pellets, you should watch because it can. You can actually bump it over, but can't kind of get it close, or maybe move it over if the gun's a little bit too high. So mm. we'll just mount that up now and give it a go. Right, the point uh, Big Ben just brought up was what's the fill pressure on, and it's actually on. You can see it's just just over the middle. I'd say it's about 155 bar in it then, yeah, to be right. certain. So um, on to the shooting next now. Hi, Big Ben here. Right, <coughs> I'm going to be shooting uh, my brother's Air Arms S400 now. I'm going to be sending a few shots uh, through the chrono to see what results we get. As you can see, uh, I'm going to be shooting the gun because my brother is filming. So, <laughs> Right, there we have it mounted um, onto the in a set. See from the last footage, I've sent in at the correct 177 Crossman pellet weight, which is 10.6 grain, I believe, Big Ben. Yeah, that's correct. Right. Um, now I know this looks a little bit, um, should we say stringy Ben? <laughs> That's alright, yeah. But it, it's, it's doing the job. I mean it's, it's mounted correctly in there and there and it's, it's doing the job, it's holding in. So, I mean you can suppose you could use tape, cable ties, etc, etc, but it's easy enough to pull and undo. Um, we have had some um, two shots already. Um, the battery's down on the camera so I sort of like lost our footage but we continue with another three now big band so right. ready when you are okay. just loading it up there set in and down good boy right ready. Right. yep there you go. put it back up there now ready load it again so I can get the um, crack Velocities, etc. Six, five, eight. Mm. Right. Poundage, ten point two. <coughs> and one thing I've noticed: you've got to be sure to reset it by pressing RST every shot. Something we uh, picked up on yesterday, big gun. I hate to say it, but it's right. What's happening here, folks, is the, the gun is down on power. But today, it's, it doesn't seem to be uh, sh revealing that much. Yesterday was. I mean, the most I was getting out of these yesterday, Big Ben, see if you can remember. Mm, around the 500 uh, feet per second mark, wasn't it? Yeah, can, down re to can you remember the poundage? Down to 9. Yeah, like 9, it. which is not. That's just not acceptable. Uh, you know, seven. no, especially pre charge up to date as well, gun. Um, it should, I'd say the minimum it should be leaving the barrel, um, this gun, um, is round about the 10, minimum 10 foot yeah. of pounds. I mean, it's shooting consistent, the consistency is great, I mean it's uh, nine, uh, 659 uh, feet per second, 661, 658, 
six five six and we're on to the last shot now so they then would be so kind to finish the uh, shot cycle off just load in the final uh, pellet and then we we'll work out obviously um, the average on um, you know see what we got there not right let's have a little look then so six five four six five four right I'm just gonna work out the average guys and then we'll be back right then guys um just worked everything out now our highest velocity was um six six one our low was six five four our average was six five seven we worked out big then yeah. and when I put it through the calculator using the formula of um the average velocity times the average velocity times the pellet weight weight which was 10.6 divided by 450240 um, as that's the correct formula we come out with 10.6 uh, sorry 10.16 foot pounds which is just there um, that ain't such a big deal that's not because as I said the minimum that I would use coming out of this barrel is 10 yeah. um, for obviously humane kill reasons. However, um, yesterday it wasn't that, was it Ben? It, was, it did go as low as uh, 9. I've noticed a slight bit of recoil, um, as you have Ben as well, yeah. while shooting the um, rifle from standing position. Um, so the gun will be going, as I've put on my um, channel on YouTube, be going in um, and I'll be getting it sorted, it'll be getting done. Um, the only other thing that I've noticed with this prior to this, which I've shoved to one side and thought nothing of, we've cocked it once or twice. Yeah. It's cocked, it's loaded, it's pellet in the chamber. Um, you've got to pull the trigger and nothing happens. Um, the gun doesn't go off, it hasn't fired. It's only happened once or twice. Pull the bolt back again, then there's a little sort of ting in the mechanism inside, Ben, and I yeah. put it forward and then it'll shoot. Um, I don't know whether that's got something to do with it, but um, you know, it's going, it's getting sorted. Wednesday, I believe it's going. Um, I think the longest it'll be is a week, and I'll get it back. So, um, might get some spring um, rifle shooting footage up soon now. Um, I'll take uh, the, yeah, the Webley Stingray. Um, yeah, Mark II out with the. Um, Nico Sturen, three by number forty. Ben B shoot then, big Ben B shoot then. The uh, Hudson um, with the Nico Sturen four by twelve by fifty, and um, we'll see if I can get a bit of footage of um, the legend, my dad as well, with the Remington Vantage twelve hundred, and he's also got a Nico Sturen on the six by forty at the minute. Yeah, so from the Nico clan. So this be going away, uh, again sorted, and I'll keep you updated. What you wrote this down, this is just a good idea, guys, as reference. This is what it's like before. Obviously, you can check it when it's been. I should imagine just service and a little check to see if everything's working correctly inside. Um, and it seems it's my pride and joy. Whatever needs to win gets done. So um, you know, you've got this as reference. Just write it all down. You know, you aren't gonna leave the house to do it. You just need something simple like this. Which I believe at the minute at Henry Crank retails for uh, £49.50, pence, which I think is a bargain for that. Yeah. You know, to start off, this is what I do is get these, get, get something like this, and then obviously when you know, when um, you want to step it up, then there's things like the Alpha uh, F1 Crony and things like that, the Scan, you know. Um, but that'll do for time being. So, um, you know, thanks for watching um, this time, this episode. Um, be sure to subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up um, or like and um, hope you enjoyed so from me uh, it's but goodbye and me ta -da.